actual tsunami in Brazil. In this episode, we're looking at how to hedge. The stakes are high. A tsunami is hitting Brazil. It will have a major impact on the economy and on Axie Capital's exposure to the country. Taylor's in charge for the first time, and it's a crisis. Black Swan event. And they're taking sharp decisions on three asset classes. A few of the moves I'm already making. Shorting Brazil's largest debt holder. Brazil bonds may drop significantly, maybe even default. They're playing it through equities. This is really counterintuitive and a bit weird. It's the largest debt holder could be a giant US pension fund for which the Brazil exposure is actually a small proportion of the portfolio and therefore the impact would be very small. You can use, for example, CDS or credit default swap on the Brazilian debt. This is just a play on Brazil risk of credit and it will react immediately to the event. Buying long dated VIX calls. Now the VIX is a measure of the market volatility. It's also known as the fear gauge. Higher VIX index values suggest more expected uncertainty being priced into the marketplace, while lower values indicate less expected uncertainty. Typically, the VIX index has an inverse relationship to the S&P 500 index. It typically goes up when the markets go down. Here, the markets may crash. It's important to remember the VIX index itself is not directly tradable. But you can buy options or futures. But I have two questions. Why a long-dated call? So why not buy a short-term future contracts. The other problem I see is that the VIX is based on the S&P 500, a US index. How much would that be affected by what happens in Brazil? There is an equivalent to the S&P 500, the Bovespa, but there's no VIX on it or no equivalent. What they could do is trade OTC over the counter and do a variant swap on the Bovespa to get exposure to the volatility of that specific index. Also buying solar, wind and every alternative energy play. So alternative energies seem to be a long term play and probably not a good hedge for a sharp shock. But again, you could play directly with oil future and sell or buy short-term futures. I cannot really agree with Taylor, but what do you think of their move as a CIO? Let me know your answers in the comments below and please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell thing to get more analysis like this one on a regular basis. Thank you very much.